All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to determine the number of protons, the number of electrons, and the number of neutrons in a couple of different chemical species using different forms of this isotope notation that I discussed in my last video. So let's do the first one. Here we have a, a neon atom that has a mass number of 21 and an atomic number of 10. So remember that this is our mass number. And remember that this number on the bottom here, this is our atomic number. So the number of protons is pretty easy. I mean, the number of protons in the nucleus is just going to be your atomic number. So that means this has 10 protons. And since this atom is neutral, meaning it is not charged, it is electrically neutral, that means that it must have the same number of electrons as it does protons. So. 10 electrons. And the number of neutrons, well, we obtain that by subtracting the mass number by the atomic number. So that's just going to be 21 minus 10 or 11 neutrons. Pretty simple. Uh, we're going to move on to another one. Okay, how about carbon-14? So how many protons, electrons, and neutrons are in carbon-14? Well, if you consult your periodic table, you'll find that carbon has an atomic number of 6, and no other element has an atomic number of 6, remember, because each element has its own unique atomic number. So that means that there are six protons in the nucleus, so we can fill that out. And since there's nothing here that indicates that there's any charge on this on this uh, carbon-14 atom, we can say that the number of electrons is also six. The number of neutrons is obtained again by subtracting the atomic number from the mass number the mass number is given here, 14, so it would be 14 minus 6, or 8 neutrons. Let's see, how about... Okay, how about, how about this atom? This is actually an ion because it's charged, but I'm going to go into that in another video. So, how many protons, electrons, and neutrons do we have in this guy? Number of protons is the atomic number shown here at the bottom left, so that's just going to be 11. The number of neutrons, once again, is obtained by subtracting the mass number from the atomic number, so 23 minus 11, or 12, 12 neutrons. But notice that the, the number of electrons isn't going to equal the number of protons anymore because this thing is charged. It has a plus one charge on it. So normally, if it was neutral, the number of electrons would equal the number of protons. So that would mean that we would have 11 electrons. But since this is not neutral, this has a charge of plus one, that means we must have one fewer electron because remember electrons are negatively charged so 11 minus 1 electrons that's just going to be 10 so this sodium ion up here has 11 protons 10 electrons and 12 neutrons so let's go over one more All right, so how many protons, electrons, and neutrons are in this? Protons is easy. That's just this number right here, 8. Neutrons, 16 minus 8, 8. 
If this was neutral, the electron, the number of electrons would be eight, but this actually has a charge of two minus. By the way, just a quick note. Um, this says two minus, an equivalent way of writing this would be minus two or even minus minus. But I think the more common way that you'll see it written is like this, two minus. Why the minus sign comes after the two, I have no idea but all it's saying is that it has a minus two charge. So if the number of electrons were equal to the number of protons, in order if this, in other words, if this chemical species was neutral, then we would have eight electrons. But since this is charged, this has a two negative charge, that means it has two more electrons than the neutral atom. So eight plus two, we get 10. This has eight protons, 10 electrons, and eight neutrons. So there you go. Hope this helps.